Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kuda Education. I'm your host, Nicholas Main. And today what we're going to tackle is running the NV profiler on the command prompt. So I'm running a Windows environment, uh, CUDA Toolkit 9, uh, with uh, Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. Um, and I have my graphics card, my NVIDIA graphics card is a, a GeForce 1050 Ti. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is walk you through how to um, profile your code or your, your CUDA code or your, your project uh, through the NV profiler uh, on the command prompt, right? There's a whole lot of scattered information on the web um, and it, it makes it more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm just going to create a quick video to help everyone else uh, just get to where they need to go. Okay, so first of all, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So we go here, project, and this guy pops up. So what we're going to do is say, uh, NV prof example, okay? Um, just do okay. So we create the project and then of course, if you guys have been following on my previous videos, you know by now that you should be changing the profiler. I mean the, the compiler or what have you, right? In order for the code to run. Okay. So, um, that's that. Um, then what we could do, we could rebuild. And then and we get our solution here and that's great. Okay. But then what we want to do is um, run it in nvprof in the command prompt, right? So luckily, our friends over at Microsoft has a quick shortcut, right? So that brings that up. And then what you do is you... Um, <clears throat> So you go up one directory. And then you go to, um, so basically you could print out all the folders. You're looking for this x86, right? So you do CD x, I mean 64, right? And then you do CD, you could do dir again if you want. So we're going to the debug. So we do CD debug, right? And then um, what you do is uh, just do NV prof and then the name of your project. And that's it folks, you have um, all the data that you need. Now, there are a bunch of options that you could run with NVProf. Um, and the command to do that, to find out what they are, you could do NVProf, uh, I think it's dash dash, help. And pretty much this will give you all the crazy stuff that you could ever want to do stuff, right? Um, yeah. I am going to try and run one that I... Um,
So I do, let's do NV prof. So in this one, you turned off the unified memory profiling or whatever that's worth. But um, basically, you know, you, you, you do nvprof, uh, you could do like nvprof and then dash dash devices zero. So it's basically saying choose the first uh, GPU device. Um, <clears throat> nvprof example. So so there you have it. Uh, you could go through, work your way through all, all of these things right here and figure out like, okay, let's try quiet. So it's dash dash quiet, right? Let's try that. So NV prof dash dash quiet off on maybe NV prof oh maybe we just do NV prof dash dash quiet. How do we turn it off now? That's the question. I guess we just don't run it. Let's say we wanted to turn back on the unified memory profiling. Oh, all we do is not mention it, I guess. So there you go, guys. That's um, that's basically how to run nvprof from the command prompt. Uh, you could search on the internet for various commands and things you want to do. Uh, there, there are a lot of performance metrics you could ask for, and specifically like memory throughput, warp divergence, all that good stuff. But this has you pointed in the right direction. Um, you know the directory to to get it at. You know, just be aware that when you ask for the command prompt from Visual Studio, it doesn't give you the um, the correct directory to run NV Profiler from. Because I think if you do it from here, you're not gonna get what you want. Yeah, see application not form because you have to go to the correct directory and then run NV uh, Profiler, all right? Uh, guys, remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check me out on Twitter, um, comment on the YouTube uh, video if you want uh, to reach out to me. You could also, you know, reach out to me through Twitter and also kudaeducation at gmail.com. Uh, remember to donate on the website kudaeducation.com and also check it out. Tell your friends. Um, I try to make this uh nvidia graphics card programming this cuda stuff as simple and straightforward as possible so help those that help you and uh let's let's uh program the next generation of artificial intelligence machine learning autonomous driving the whole works all right guys have a great day and i will see you next time bye